None of this makes any sense anymore. Here now, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Marty McCary. Uh, doctor, thank you so much because we, were, we trust you on these issues. You know, I, I looked at your newsletter and, and it really touched me on a personal level because it seems like you've been the only one talking about the facts here. And part of it is our children. They are shutting down schools uh, when we know there is no risk to the kids. And you wrote in your article about students that um, uh, are the lowest risk population on planet Earth. What did you mean by that? Well, uh, we, what we've done is we've imposed tremendous restrictions on, on the lowest risk population. We're using all the tests on low risk population folks, and we're shunting them away from those who may need it right now. Look, there's nothing that represents the overreach of public health more than re re requiring a college student to get a booster, even though they have natural immunity from prior infection. There's not even any, any evidence to support boosters. That's why the FDA bypassed they're technical experts to get the booster recommendation for young people, including teenagers. Does that, but does that, doctor, does that make any sense, though, the fact that they decided to just bypass the experts on this? Like, is there any precedent for that happening? No. And, Lawrence, people are seeing through it. People are sick of the overreach of public health. They're sick of the false lexicon of the vaccinated and unvaccinated when we know it's the immune and non-immune and you'll still get the common cold-like illness of Omicron even if you have immunity. They're sick of being told to be tested incessantly with a scarce testing supply. They're sick of the quarantines for a mild illness and then being told to test at the end of a quarantine with a low sensitivity test. They're sick of watching children uh, go through high rates of suicide and mental illness. A recent statistic found that 31 percent of parents now are reporting that their kids' mental health is much worse. They're sick of boosters on young, healthy people are sick of all of it. They're sick of all of it. And we need to stop the nonsense, stop this damage to public health credibility and move on, because this had a case fatality rate of about 0.2 percent. When the next pandemic comes and that it has an infection fatality rate of 5 percent, we better be in a better position. You know, forgive me, doctor, but I got to ask you this question. Um, how do we move on? And the reason why I ask you that is because you're a doctor, you're known. You have the same information these other doctors have, yet they aren't citing this information. So how do we move on as, as a society when you have doctors that are pushing misinformation? Well, look, we have to get the word out that immunity works in preventing severe illness. It doesn't work in stopping you from having the virus land in your nose cavity and testing positive. And we've got to get back to common sense, which means, look, if you're around someone vulnerable, be careful. Avoid them if you think you might have been exposed. And if you're sick, stay at home. Let's go back to the basics of infection prevention. You know, doctor, let's let's talk about common sense. And, you know, you've had students reach out to you. Part of your newsletter was focusing on those students that have privately decided to reach out to you because they don't want to be silenced. Let's take Princeton University, for example. Uh, you're required to get uh, both vaccines and then you got to get the booster and you're tested twice a week. But now you're not allowed to leave the county as well. Is, is that is there any science that backs that up? Absolutely not. What we're seeing now is an attempt for public health officials to impose this sort of COVID zero goal, this elusive, unachievable goal of let's put the lowest risk people on planet Earth in a bubble and ruin their lives, take their livelihoods away. And by the way, we don't talk about the other um, things we should be talking about, like obesity and therapeutics. Instead, we blame the lowest risk people for the transmission in the community. I, I've talked to students at Georgetown where staff patrol the library to see if anyone is loosening their mask to take a sip of water. They go outside in the cold to get a sip of water. Princeton won't allow them to leave the county. Cornell is requiring masks outdoors. I learned over and over again at our top universities, what we're seeing is this complete anti-science approach, and it's resulting in a very cruel policy to, to a defenseless population. Doctor, uh, when this is all said and done, I mean, because we... We've been in this for a while now. We know now what's happening to our kids. We know the, the, the effects. You know, if the adults want to play experiment with themselves and see how this experiment works on them, I'm not talking about the vaccine, but, but, but the shutdowns and the effects of it, that's one thing. But this is the next generation. So 
What do you see happening to the medical co community? Do they have any credibility when this is all said and done? Because there will be real consequences on the next generation. I mean, we're already behind, but we're talking about mentally. Does the next generation make it? Well, there's, uh, the good news is people are pushing back, and they're pushing back with data, because if you look at the data, it does not support boosters. Your risk of dying of uh, COVID after being fully vaccinated or have natural immunity is zero. You cannot lower that number, zero, any further with a booster, and people are pushing back. They're presenting data to their universities, to their employers. The data on natural immunity is now matured. It's incredible, and I think we're going to see um, a pushback. You know, doctors, we did a terrible thing to doctors in the United States. Public health officials put them on an abstinence only mission to basically stomp out the disease to try to achieve, achieve COVID zero. And look at where we are now. We're stomping out virus replication and we've ruined lives as a result. And then we silenced the doctors that said, no, we've got to treat the whole person, not the lab test. We've got to get back to the dignity of the medical profession. You know, doctor, I got to go, but I got to ask you this real quickly. Did we wait too long to start pushing back? Yes. Look, we're, we're, we have been told for a long time, just listen to us. Don't ask questions and everything will be OK. We were told if you vaccinate everybody, this thing will go away and stop. And many of these myths have persisted way too long. We waited too long to push back. Never again. Never again. Dr. Mar Marty McCarrick, thank you so much for joining us.